All right, guys, I'm back. I just needed to rest my voice, get some tea, chill for a bit, get some food. Let's go into the file. Hello. Oh, things are breaking all around me. Hello. Thank you for uh, for your patience for waiting. Uh, here's the thing. There's two minutes left in the countdown. We got to take stock of the situation before the final. Because uh, there's a lot of things to go through. Uh, there's a lot of things to go through. So. Where do we begin? Well. Let's begin with this. Overall, this is the biggest prize pool tournament we've ever had in Trackmania. How much? 128,000 euros total. With uh, the grand final in October. Giving first place $68,000. Okay. That's pretty massive. Today, however, we're playing for a little less, but still insane amounts for Trickmania. We're playing for 20,000 euros. And whoever wins this next game gets $6,000 uh, $6, for first place. 4,000 second, 3,000 third, 2,000 for, uh, for fourth. And the grand final is going to be between Arthur, Binks, Wosal, Chalich, Gwen, Bren, Glust, and Otak. It is French domination in this tournament, but it is a French tournament after all. But there's still a lot of storylines. Glust, the underdog, who still made it to the final out of that insane semi-final. You got Gwen, who dominated. Bren as well, really fast on pace. Arthur, the first person to qualify in the other semi-final, together with Binks. I will tackle sad if he doesn't take this one. There's at least one in Montpellier. But um. Yeah, we will see. We started with 16 players, we're down to 8, and this is the final. Let's uh, let's get back to the cast and let's see... Uh, see how this goes. Yep. I don't know what that means. I don't know what he threw. Did I say? Yeah, I think I did say. Wait, did I say? <laughs> Production asked me for my prediction, and I said Gwen for this final. What is your prediction, chat? Let's get it running, and let's see who um who wins it. It is a knockout format they're about to play. Knockout. So everyone starts with three health points. And the way it works is that if you get last in a round, you lose one HP. So you can get last two times, you get last three times, you're out. So, even if you lose two rounds early, if you keep not getting last, you won't lose HP, and the last player standing wins. It's a new final format that he's never done before, Serrator. And I haven't seen it before either, but, you know. Three strikes and you're out. So this is a format that, it might not reward the crazy pace of Gwen. It might reward more consistency, just, if you place like third or fourth every time, that might be better, you know? Because Gwen, while he risks hard, if he crashes hard, he could be out quite early. It's like a couple a day with 3 HP. So we'll see. We will see. All right. One second. Is Granati still in? Granati got knocked out. He almost qualified, but last turn, when he was finalist, he hit a light pole. 
unknown maps. Yeah, they have practiced these for a while. And since we've seen like six maps by now, I predict that out of the map pack of 13 maps, we will see the other half. So we're gonna see maps like Plastico, I think. We're gonna see maps like the Pura, Pura Rive, which is a very difficult map. But yeah, they're explaining the format here. Wait, well, this is interesting. Finish last or not finish the race means minus one life. So even if you're... If you just don't get to the finish, like if several players don't get to the finish, they all lose uh, HP. That is very interesting. So if they had the trial map in the finals, that would be disaster. How many players are left? Eight players total. Which means a maximum of just 24 rounds. Twenty-four rounds total is the is the the limit. Twenty-three, okay. Thank you for correcting me. Twenty-three. It's not twenty-four, it's twenty-three. Impor it's so important difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was one off. Thank you for all saying it. Everyone saying twenty-three. Thank you so much. People who say it now, even though I've already been corrected a billion times already. Thank you for saying 23 in chat. Thank you all for helping me be a better person. I can't believe I said something so egregiously wrong. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are we ready for the finals? You still love me even though I'm so wrong? How could you? It was 23 rounds and not 24. How could you possibly love me after that? I'd let you all down. I'd let you all down. <laughs> the two Arthur fans in the crowd making themselves vocal. Guys, we gotta get a prediction started. We need a prediction for who's gonna win it. Dearest moderators, I ask for your support. A prediction between Arthenir, Binks, Wosal, Chalich, Gwen, Bren, Gloss, and Otak. It's already there? Wait, we're already predicting? Oh, my prediction is shown. Wait, one second. Uh, yeah. A lot of people have, uh, voiced their opinion from the different casts. Uh, it, it is clear what we're all thinking. The elephant in the room is, uh... <laughs> Gwen's pretty damn good, right? But Etoile has, uh... Guess Bren will win. Alright, guys. Four and a half million channel points in the prediction. 48% have Gwen as the winner. You have still five minutes left to get in your prediction. Virtual British? Actually, I believe it is the language that I'm speaking that they're showing on that interface. And since I am speaking the language of English, actually, according to my calculations, it would mean that that is why that flag is there and not the Norwegian one. I'm now very happy to correct you, chat, because you corrected me earlier. This is how it's going to work. Actually. Yeah, keep saying 23. Keep saying it. Virtually see this clip. The funds are starting. Uh, 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I already know what the clip is. Oh no. But guys, Grand Finals is starting. I will disappear from frame of view and we will go through this together. Here we go. The finals of the first Ascension Tournament. Good luck, have fun. Everyone has three health points each. If they get last in a round or do not finish, they lose one HP. The winner is the last player standing and we're on uh, the water bounce map. This map has a shortcut in the ending where you can water bounce across and save a lot of time. It also has this flip, which I don't know if people are doing. Oh, they're almost all doing it. Brennan Glenn getting it really well. Now into the bobsleigh. Currently, it is Otak in last. That's really what you want to pay attention to. First place, not so important, but last place is. But we'll see if they all get this shortcut in the ending. It's a tricky section. After you go past these holes on the grass, you have a really difficult skip you could do. Where instead of going on the pipe, you drop in that gap on the water there. Bounce twice and land on the platform. Gold Gwen almost out. But Otak is the first one to drop a heart. But that just goes to show it's not that clear. Gwen almost lost HP in the first round. But Otak takes the first damage. Very difficult wall bang to hit here. You want to hit the exact corner to keep the gear. Otak again near last place, but now we have the flip. And he is going to go for it. Lining up on the side, getting that. Someone missed it very much so. I think that was Chalik. Lost a lot of speed on the flip. Crashed while doing it. But the others here had it sick. The other players had such a good flip. Ooh, big respawn, I think, from Glost. Who lost? Oh, it's two seconds behind, but someone else respawned. Was that Arthur here? Last skip now. Oh, Tech lining up for the safe line from last to first. And who is actually last here? It is Arthur here. About five seconds. And it will be Arthur here taking damage. Oh. Gonna take. This actually has a quick tactical timeout, I think. That's why he's not finishing, he's just giving himself time to breathe. <sighs> Still two chances left. First plastic hit here. No one has really failed this that badly yet. It looks like they all got it decently. Now the flip once again. You want to reduce air time, land early, and keep accelerating early again. Gloss with a sick flip! Barely landing it, but Glenn has way more speed for first place into the bobsleigh. That's gonna carry him far. Wosal in last by two seconds. Ooh, both players just here, just looking for a safe line. They know they're kind of in the clear. No need to risk. But it's Otak actually in last once again. Could lose his second heart here. If no one fails the ending, that will happen. Have they all made it? No, they haven't. Chalik and Bren both failed, but Chalik takes... No, actually it's Bren, I think. I think Bren took uh, damage here. The interface is a bit wrong. 
Brennan had the number eight on his car, so he was actually last through the finish line. And he also loses a heart. So Brennan missing the finish there is what cost him the last round of this map now. And the fact that we're seeing this means we're going to see a lot of the other maps in the map pack, I believe. So, um... This is just the beginning. We have the pyramid map. We have the plastic hole map. With a huge skip that the players could do. But I probably don't think they will be doing. To name some among a few. There's also a red map, which could be very interesting. Arthanir, two seconds behind here. Dangerous spot to be in before the ending. One second to catch up to, to Binks and Chalik. Not impossible. Here we go with the water bounce. Looks like they all have it. Ooh, risky finish for Bren. But he makes it. And Gwen is the one to make a mistake. Gwen lost one health as the fourth player. Oh, a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous here for Gwen. What map are we going to get? What map are we getting? <laughs> that is a bit surprising. But this format is about consistency. Plastic, okay. This is a scary map in rounds. This is a scary map. The reason why is there is a massive skip. If you dare, there is a massive skip on the plastic here. But if you fail it, you could be stuck respawning a lot of times. Are they gonna dare to go for it? Already a big mistake from a Carmine core play. No, Glust, I believe, with a mistake on the roof there. And now here is the skip. If they're gonna do it, this is where. Oh my god, they're setting up for it. Oh my god, Gwen is going for it. And he gets to the track when he respawns it. Glust missed it. Showing why it's so dangerous. In a survival format, Glenn goes for the shortcut and saves five seconds. And what he might be able to do with this is inflict more damage. If people are so far behind that they cannot finish, they're going to take a heart regardless, right? Oh, he got there. Gloss got there, but he's plus five checkpoints. Gwen on the last jump now, I believe he finishes, and the timer has started. 30 seconds is what Gloss ha has to finish before. Same goes for Otak. They can have the last jump coming up here after this upside down plastic part, and this is not an easy jump. Everyone else has finished, Gloss will take damage, but he gets the warm up in, he gets the practice in. Barely crossing the line there. Are they going to go for it again? That is such a crazy strategy to do in rounds. I think I only saw three players setting it up. Arthur got its second try. Gwen got a first try. And Gloss got stuck respawning. Arthur with a mistake in the start. Oh, Gloss with a massive mistake on the roof. That's going to cost him a lot. He might have to go for the skip now. I think he might have to. Gwen going again. Gwen is going again. He got the checkpoint. You're kidding. That's two for two. Oh! 
One more time. Oh, he got it. And he's very close with Otak. Otak is last right now. And Otak could take his second heart of damage. Otak in the danger zone. In the hot seat. It's time to move. It's time to go. He needs a great last jump to catch up here. It's one full second. 22 seconds to finish. Binks has respawned. That's a close battle. Who gets the best jump? Binks too low maybe, I think. Oh, what a snipe from Binks. Binks got like the perfect angle to land that. Any faster and he over jumps it. That is crazy. Oh, attack now on one health point left before he's out of the grand final. Big pressure. Good start here, though. Ooh, getting pushed a little bit wide on the roofs. Oh, big crash there. From what's that, Bren? I think that was Bren crashing the checkpoint. Bren in last as we see a flying car. Gwen, is he gonna hit it? Three, four, three. He gets the checkpoint again. You're kidding. And Bren? Oh, did he get it? I think he did. He did. Bren from last to second there to save himself. Gloss now in danger once again. Not as consistent on the skip. Gets the checkpoint now, but he is far behind. And we're going to see these players get the finish jump, I believe. Glust several checkpoints behind. It's all on Arthur here to just get a high jump here. And land in the middle of the rainbow. Clean bounce into the finish. Glust also. On one health point left. Gloss has not found the consistency with the skip, but it has to be said that what you're seeing from Gloss could just as well happen with Gwen. It is mental to me to go for the skip in rounds. But I don't think he will relent here. I think he will keep going for it. This is the strategy he's practiced. This is what he's going for. Lines it up on the left side. Gets the drift, and then... That looks good. That looks very good. In between the bridges. And then the bounce. And now he's first. And Gwen, I think, has missed it. No, Gwen is there too. Gloss will be safe. Otak respawning. Deciding to go for the skip instead. A Hail Mary. Is this gonna work? Too high. Otak is dead last now. With no health points remaining. He needs a miracle. He doesn't get it. Shaking of his head. I think it might be over. Oh, the despair. He DNFs. Very unfortunate for Otak. But that is him out of the grand final. Still a massive accomplishment to get here. But out in eighth place. One player knocked out. Seven players battling for the victory. Not just $6,000 as the top prize, but also automatic qualification to the grand final in Montpellier later on in the year.
Oh, I can already see the map. Oh, dear God. This is a very difficult map. It has a hard bobsleigh start. And the ending of this map is stupid difficult. Very, very difficult ending here, where you can go directly into the finish from the front, but a lot of people are going to jump behind the finish and uh, cross the line that way. You ice slide into a bobsleigh wall, and if you do this well, you can exit with a lot of speed, and 360, I think Charlotte is missing! For the landing charge with the crash! But apparently, he's still not as bad off as Gloss here. And Gwen! Okay, this is a bit scary for Gwen. The favorite amongst many to win. There's still the ending to come. Gloss here in last. Nothing to lose for Gwen for the risky finish. I think many others are going for the safe. Here it is. You can either go in from the front or jump behind it. Is he gonna get there? Gwen going for the risky! Gloss going for the risky as well! Oh, and Gloss almost sniping Chalik by only six tenths of a second. But because of that, Gloss is out. But look at the smile. He knows. He played the greatest semi-final of his life, and he can be proud of getting to the grand final. No regrets whatsoever. Top seven here is a crazy result. Oh, small mistake in the start from Brand Gwen as well, not the best. And now the 360s. Arthur near into the wall. Last place for him out of the start. Wolfsa also has lost a significant amount of time. Past the logo, you gotta be precise here. Ooh. Good dodge. Can Arthur get the risky finish here? It's a very precise slowdown. You have to get. You have to go just over the edge and dive in. Oh. The others were too fast. Arthur down to one HP. Still, we have three players with full health. Chalik, Wosal, and Binks have not lost any hearts yet. You see, Chalik get another good start here. This could continue. Bren is currently last on the splits. One full checkpoint behind Gwen down there now, too. Two of the favorites in a battle for last. Gw oh, Wosal's made a mistake, though. And this is a full speed part. I think Wosal will find himself in the bottom battle. Because the speed will carry for the others. Who's going to get the best ending here? I think most of them are safe to go for the slow end. But some are going to risk it. Across the edge. Backwards finish for Bran. Gwen in last. Gwen down to one health. Oh, nervous expressions now for Gwen. He cannot afford a single big mistake for the rest of the finals. Or he would actually be eliminated, just like that. Bren with a mistake in the start. That's a bad place to crash for Bren. That's a several second time loss. Yeah, Bren is very far behind in this race right now. It is looking like over seven seconds. I think at this point, if they see the splits, 12 second mistake for Bren. And Bren will be down to one health as well, assuming they all make it.
There's no need to risk. Wosal is gonna be upside down. Did he respawn in time? Wosal. Is he there? He is. Getting saved by Bren's mistake. And we could easily have an upset winner here. An upset victory. Looking at the predictions going into this, I don't think a lot of people had Chalik, but he just keeps surviving without taking damage. Three people on full health, one... Uh, three players on one health. Can I have a new map here? Curious to see what it is. Oh, it's the pyramid map. This is about to get very interesting. We are not going to discuss the pyramids, but we're going to discuss this ending. Nothing is said and done here until this final crazy zigzag that the players have to navigate through. It is about 50 seconds of weaving in between plastic logos. If they face plant one of them, their car gets sent backwards. They get pushed backwards by the plastic bounce. So the start here, do not take anything for granted until you see the ending. That is where you can see meltdowns or crazy comebacks. We saw the crash there in the start. And I believe that was Chalik, actually. But no need to worry. There's a lot to play for here in the ending of Pir Arive. Crossing the check, but here we will have the split. Arthenir is last. Uh, no, he should not be. I think it's Chalik still. Chalik about one second behind the others, but here we go. They're all going to try to get this wall bang in the start of the sequence. And now there's a set pattern that most of the players are following that gives them the most space to work with. And Chalik is quickly catching back up to Binks. About equal now through this left side. Different lines coming through, and I think they're both overtaking Wosa. Wosa last right now. Clips another logo. Arthur with a big mistake. He slows down too. Wosa with a different pattern here. Going on the right side instead. About one second behind the others now. Before the checkpoint crossing, he will be one full second behind. Binks also in danger. Binks has not lost any health yet. We could have a new player taking damage. Last couple of weaves now. It's getting tense. No mistakes are had up front. They're all dodging perfectly. Big a mistake. Wosa can catch up if he finds more speed. It's lagging. It's lagging. Who won? Someone. We need tech support. The worst moment. The worst moment. Someone help! Apparently, I think this might be savable. It seems as though... Uh... Binks took a heart. Binks took a heart. Wosile clutched. And we are almost right back to where we left off. On the triangles. Gwen in last before it begins. But Charles is there too. Oh, big mistake. That was Binks again. Charles with a face plant. Binks catching back up. Charles can last now. He has been flawless so far. Oh, not the best. Result right here. He's quite far behind now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good save, good save, good save. Finds a way to continue through. But he has lost a lot of time. We're talking several seconds here. 
And the others are gonna go for safe line, safe as they can. All the way to the finish, but look at the precision required for this. Brand beautiful, 139, a massive time as well in rounds. That is quick. Anything 140 here or below is mental to drive in rounds. And it will be Chalik. The scoreboard is evening out. Bren and Gwen are on one HP each, but they are both driving top two right now. And they don't seem to be the ones in danger. Here we go, then, next round. A start not really too decisive. We know what's gonna decide the round, and it is... The Ascension logos at the ending. But you can still gain or lose a little bit here in the start. We have a little strategy. Some players will wall bang here. But uh, Brenda's is going wide for speed. Carrying that towards the uh, identity. Let's have a full speed line here on the outside, but everyone's going for the same pattern. Jump through, wall bang, and here we go. Arthur and Brandon Gwen, all three on one HP, all with a good start. Gwen clipped massively there. That was a big mistake from Gwen. Wolsaw face plant, but I think it's Gwen last, and it is. If Gwen gets last here, he's eliminated. This is high pressure, and he knows it. He knows he's just made a big blunder on this identity part. And he's only half a car length away from getting eliminated, but he's beating Wosal as of right now. Wosal finding a better gap there, though, perhaps. More speed through here. Gwen's building up about a one-second lead before the checkpoint. Halfway through this straight. Gwen's still weaving, but one mistake. One face plant now, and he is eliminated. Wosal could catch back up. Just barely ahead. Binks with a mistake. Oh, Brent is upside down! Brent is upside down! Brent can be out! He's trying to turn him! Brent is trying to turn him, but Brent gets eliminated! Brent clipped the triangle and went upside down. And since respawning would take him too much time, he tried to turtle. A heroic effort. But Bran is eliminated. A massive effort there, but not enough for Bran. Wosal, the only player left on full health. Has not been last at all yet. Was close to that previous one, but he's still surviving. Great winning chances into the second half of this final. Now the tension rises though. One with the low speed line here. And now the triangles once more for the last time. Everyone on the left side. Ooh. Chalik losing a bit of ground. Wosal drifting, trying to find the pattern through. Gains a lot. Gwen has made a mistake. But Wosal made a mistake as well. Gwen passes. And he might get past. Bigs, no, he face plants. It's so close. Wosal is just a little behind Gwen with that right side line there. Half a second before the second half of the part. Oh, God. Wosal is going to take damage, or is someone going to make a mistake? You can see the finish approaching. Gwen desperately hanging on. The last turns. Ah! Uh, they're safe. Wosal takes damage. What a battle. All other players on a 144. Such a close race. Insane. 
Now what are we getting? What are we getting now? That is Wolf Sal right there, the current leader. Together with Binks on two healths and Chalik as well, two health. Let's see. What is the map? Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this map. But it is wild. There's a pipe in the ending of this map, and it has a skip. This skip is so risky that I don't even think we'll see Gwen go for it. I think no one's going for it. Very tricky drifts in the start here. You want to drift to the right and get a left drift to carry speed up to this quarter pipe. Now there's a full speed line in between tree branches. You can't really see them, but these are very difficult to avoid. Whoa, so into the wall. Off the tree, he hits the stem. And the only way of saving this wicked is to skip, I think. I think he has to go for the skip. Oh wait, Arthur's made a mistake! Arthur plus seven. Arthur could skip and save it. Arthur! He almost had it, but he clipped a little bit. Such a great attempt, though. He tried everything he could, but he gets eliminated. That is with wet tires. You have to land that pipe with wet wheels. Four players left. Top four now. Gwen on one, everyone else on two. In between the trees, Gwen! It's the tree! Does he make it? Oh, he does. And Arthur has made a massive mistake by the looks of it. He will get the flip to save himself. But if someone skips here, this could quickly... Equalize. Gwen is not gonna go for the skip here, I think. He's just gonna slow down, do the turn. What about Wosa? What's he thinking? Oh. Not quite. Also, excuse me, uh, Arthur is of course eliminated. Is Wosa in last? A little bit confused by the splits here. Wosa down to one health as well now. Well, Gwen has survived so long on just that one hit point. Needs another five or so rounds here to be the champion of the first Ascension Tournament. Different lines, one crash, that is Binks, I believe. Who is gonna have to try it, he's gonna have to try it. There's no other way to catch up. He knows it. We all know it. Can he make it in the ending here? The other's gonna have to hope that he can't. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Oh. Respectable attempt there, but not quite. And Binks drops to one HP as well. Chalk now the only player with two. If Chalik drops a heart here, it's sudden death. Oh my god, there's a respawn! Was that Chalik? I think it was! Chalik made a mistake! This could go to sudden death! The pressure is on! 
Trollic missed the drift. Gwen's made a small mistake, but Trollic respawn mistake. I don't even think he can come back with the skip now. It's too far. What a way to end it. Everyone on one health. Wait. Wait, what? Gwen missed the checkpoint. Gwen could be out. Oh! Gwen missed the checkpoint and is out. It looked so much like Charlie would be eliminated, but no. Not sure what happened with Gwen. But that shows the format. Gwen, the highest pace player in this final, will not be the winner. Three cra crashes and you're out. Is Charlie gonna win this? Charlie against all these Trackmania World Tour players. The red map. The red road. This is a very difficult map. This one has a no steering section that the players really have to be careful in, but already in the start, ending off in a red booster and a mistake, clipping the corner, Wozak clipping the light, now the no steering, after this corner, you have to line up for the check, but in the distance, <gasps> Wozak miss, Wozak missed the angle, has to go again, this time he gets it, but that is a lot of time lost, there's a quarter pipe jump here where you have to get a flip around did Charlie get it he did and Binks as well yes sir also bouncing out as well this is not looking good and the ending of this map is quite consistent if you know you have nothing to lose you can take a safe line and Wosa will be eliminated it is Binks versus Charlie in the finals Binks needs two in a row, Chalik needs one round win. And he wins the first Ascension Tournament. In what has to be quite an upset victory, like no one predicted Chalik to be here. And yet he is. Loses a bit of time to start. Binks getting the red booster, passes the light beautifully. Now the no steering. Does he get the angle? Oh, he crashed, but it's still fine. He still has the angle to go through. Just barely. A little bit on the right side. He might click the hole here. He might. Oh, he bounces across. Beautiful. There's not much more to fail. Charlie one second behind. The quarter pipe jump and the fragile shortcut. Charlie could shortcut here. Charlie could go for the skip on the left. Binks is going for it. But they both missed it. Does Binks get a second try? He does. Oh, if Charlie didn't clip, clip the checkpoint, that could have been it. One HP each. Good luck to both. This is the final. This is the last round. Get some hype. It will be Binks or Charlie. We will find out right now. First booster. Binks gets it good. The angle! The angle on the nose here! They both have it, I think! They do! The quarter pipe. Who lands it the best? Charlie Clips! Binks with a one second lead! There's still the skip in the ending to go, and it is not trivial! He has to get the skip right! To win the tournament, Binks! Jump! It's the pillar! Cholik in the lead! Cholik wins! Against Trackmania World Tour players!
Champions against previous World Champions. Charlotte takes the victory. Incredible. The last jump to clutch it. What a massive victory, the biggest of his career by far. Barely scraping it through his qualifier and now winning the finals. That is so fun! That is so fun! These are the uh, final earnings. I'm not sure if they are correct as they list. Afi instead of uh, Chalik, I believe. But um, yeah, they're listed alphabetically here. Uh, so uh, they're not supposed to be this way. But Chalik ahead of Binks. Name diff is not going to decide this tournament. But wow, what a tournament, everybody. What a tournament. And my voice held. As crazy as that is. Oh, look at the smiles. Smiles all around. This is only part one, though. There will be part two and the grand final in October, where Chalik will now play for uh, the grand prize of 62,000 euros in October. We gotta hear the winner interview. Someone got 1.7 million channel points for 35k bet. That is crazy. You're shaking. Seriously, how was it? He says, it was different. This format changes everything. I still can't believe it. Est-ce que tu peux nous parler un petit peu des voilà de ce qui s'est passé pour ta journée aujourd'hui, comment tu l'as vécu et tout? J'étais très très stressé par le premier match parce que j'ai vraiment pas envie de. Your journey on the tournament is incredible. How was your day overall? Et c'est toujours super stressant. Ça passe, j'ai envie de dire comme d'habitude au fil, sur le premier. Mais c'est ta signature. C'est ma signature. Il est pas passé sur le fil. C'est cool. Il est pas passé sur le fil là. Quand même, il les a bien fumés. Il les a bien fumés. Ouais, là sur ce format, je me. Charles said he was very nervous. He didn't want to do the training twice. He didn't want to have to qualify for Montpellier twice. But now he's, you know, in the clear. À la fin, je joue avec les gosses. Ah, c'est intéressant ça. C'est intéressant. C'est très malin. J'ai pris les infos et je suis trop content. Ah, je comprends. Je comprends. Bon, tu repars avec quasiment 6 000 euros. C'est un cash prize que peu de gens ont eu sur Trackmania. Ouais, c'est assez impressionnant. Voilà. Pour avoir ce cash prize, il fallait gagner pendant 5-6 ans d'affilée. I played with cars on to adapt, he says. Toutes mes plus grandes félicitations. Tu veux, t'as une question peut-être That is interesting. En rien spécial, je pense que... He was driving with cars on. Étant un trash finder, étant quelqu'un qui so that he could see others and you know realize whether whether they make mistakes or not. Plus de palettes de strat à ton avis. Many players usually play with cars off. La même manière de rouler. Je pense que pour la plupart, on avait à peu près les les mêmes trajets à la fin pour safe. Il y a aussi. Do you think having many strats helped you? They asked him. Et que finalement, je suis toujours avant dernier et jamais dernier. C'est c'est le principe du jeu. Mais je pense que j'avais deux trois trajets, mais tout le monde les avait. Donc sur le trash finder pour le mode KO, non. Mais le, est-ce que le lampadaire à 2000 balles <rire> Le lampadaire à 2000 balles était... Euh, en vrai, moi j'ai activé l'écart, je voyais Banks une seconde. Et Charlie a dit, je pense que nous avons les mêmes trajectoires. Soit il le prend, soit il le passe. Généralement, il le passe, il se le prend parce qu'il y a sûrement la pression. Ah, bien sûr. Ou juste qu'il a fait un input à la con et bah, moi je passe. Et, oh my god. Je suis une droite à deux à l'heure, mais ça passe. <rire> 
La vie de rêve. Bah écoute, encore toutes mes félicitations. Il est modeste, mais franchement, il a fait Bank un match de fou. Que ce soit la too. demi ou la finale. Crazy final. Je te reprends ça. Je vais te laisser aller te reposer. Tu ne soulèves pas encore de titre. Yeah, parce qu'on est à l'ascension. Tu ne soulèveras pas de premier titre ici. Puisque le titre, il sera soulevé, mesdames et messieurs, à Montpellier par un joueur. Là, on joue very humble, une qualification, yeah, insane. ce n'est que l'apéritif, ce n'est que l'apéritif, mon cher. Mon Such cher a fun, fun winner too. Il reste too. quasiment rien. Hein. Congratulations once more. Quand même. Sans qu'il événement ne serait pas possible. Je me lève un peu, hein. je, ça ne gêne pas, je reste debout. Je reste debout. Je reste debout. Je reste debout. Uh, évidemment, donc, Continental, Sofra, c'est derrière. Paypal, Nadeo et Omen. Merci à eux, Omen, qui a équipé uh, la scène d'ailleurs avec le PC. We are now going to get... Merci beaucoup de nous avoir suivi d'avoir rendu ce, uh, ce format possible pour être écouté pour Montpellier on y est, euh, then, il est quelle heure là um, c'est bon on est chill là 23h45 on va voir des highlights 23h de route Grand ouais, Finals in October c'est un long time from now but non, it's gonna be great et then après ça, on va construire des maps de bobsleigh, parce qu'apparemment, il y a un ice update et nous avons besoin de trouver des maps à comparer pour le update en tout cas, merci beaucoup d'avoir commenté avec moi, Rayou. C'était euh, trop bien. C'était un vrai plaisir. C'était trop bien. Je ne veux pas commenter beaucoup. There is an ice update that was announced. Avec euh, cette carte de vision. They're changing ice in two days. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Again, yeah. La suite des opérations. Là, il n'y aura pas de track manière. Will there be new wiggles? Will there be new strategies? Il y aura une deuxième machine, donc. Le mapping pour euh, l'événement de Lille qui sera en septembre pour lequel... Vous Rest in peace Midori 2. Euh, no, see, I talked about this. I'm gonna release Midori 2 tomorrow. So people have exactly 24 hours to beat it. Uh, before it's impossible forever. And then I will uh, once again create a ton of drama and make a video and Trackmania will thrive because of me. Every game needs a villain. I will be the villain, okay? You need a heel and a toe in comedy. You know you call that chat? You call it being controversial. Thanks for watching today. Great stream. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, that was a bit, uh, that hurt me, that hurt my soul saying that. That was horrible. Let's see it. Let's get the overview. Thanks for the cast, it was fun. Right? Can we get some hearts oh, in chat for uh, Serrator? There's no need that he had to put this tournament together. He's just doing it because he finds it fun. But it's so much fun for us as viewers and passionate people of the game as well. So hearts in chat for Serrator for putting it together, playing his cast in English. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, Serrator. Merci beaucoup. Et au revoir. How would I do You know? <laughs> you know? Damn, we're getting the end credits. The final credit scores. Thanks to production as well, they were amazing for giving me assets and helping with translations and the clean feed. So many cool camera angles as well, amazing stuff. Huge! This is the part of like when you watch a movie, you never realize how many people are actually working behind the scenes. There's like 30 people involved in just the production of this. Amazing stuff. So yeah, that was cool. That was super cool. I enjoyed that. I enjoy that, and what a fun winner as well. Should we watch the uh, final clip again? Should we watch back the final real quick? Because I kind of want to see it again to see like what actually happened. Because when you cast, it's almost like you're just working on autopilot and instinct. And I, I can't remember what I saw. I'm just 
saying what my brain thinks in the moment, you know? And so sometimes I like, I, I can't even remember what I saw. It's just, it moves too fast. So I would love to see it again if someone has a clip of the final. Um, also got to set up my mic real quick uh, in the normal way I have it so that you guys can um, uh, hear music and stuff properly. Should just be this. And then uh, let's put on some, some bangers in the background. Very, very fun. Very fun. Okay. Okay. Hi from France. Hello, everybody from France. What an amazing ending to the tournament. We're going to watch back the uh, final round now and see how it went. Ooh. Let's see it. Dude, I was nervous on behalf of both. That was crazy. Salut. Bonsoir. Here is the final round once again. Can we get the full? Watch full. Ooh. All right, wait, wait, this is just me though. Is it here? I am seeing myself from the past. Oh, skipped right to it. Target locked. Jump through, wall bang, and here. Okay, here we go. Angle. Good luck to both. This is the final, this is the last round. Get some hype. It's a double audio. Billy Binks or okay. Chalik. We will find out right now. First booster. Binks gets that was good. so good from Binks. The angle. The angle on the nose here. The they fact they both got that too. They do. The quarter pipe. And then this mistake from Chalik. Chalik clips. Binks with a one second lead. There's still the skip in the ending to go, and it is not trivial. He has to get the skip right to win the tournament. The light post. Let's up, it's the pillar. Cholik in the lead. Cholik wins. Oh my god. Against Trackmania World Tour players, against previous world champions. Following both the French human heroes, fun. Wah! Wah! What do you think of the final format? I really liked it. I feel... It shows a different skill set required, like... Chalik was playing so consistently and he never lost health until like so far in the final, right? Like he was still on three hearts after several players are knocked out on one heart, etc. Like he just played the format really well. Like people say, oh, Gwen was the best player in this final, but like... With the format they were using, Chalik was doing insanely well. So yeah, insane. Absolutely insane. I think the difference between Serrator maps and the other ones... So I like that Serrator just builds what he thinks will make the best show. Because if you had listened to uh, Trekmania players who say his maps are bad, this would not be as entertaining. But he doesn't care. Serrator is a genius. He builds these maps and they make for such a fun event to watch. And I'm glad that he sticks true to himself for that.